Well, you know, I think museums uh, matter a lot. And, uh, and I think I, since we're in the context of a university, I think university museums matter in a huge way because museums in general um, allow for lifelong learning. And there are very few environments that one has outside you know, university to have that uh, experience if you, if you think of museums that way uh, rather than a place to bring your partner or, uh, for a Saturday kind of uh, date or, or uh, something to do with the kids uh, purely as entertainment or, or something that to sort of fill the time or to look at nice things. And, uh, if you look at it as, as, a, way, as a way of, of uh, learning at different points in your life and, and always being open to things, it's a very special place, very different from one's life purposely. I think often people don't uh, view it that way. I, sometimes museums don't view, that, view it that way. Um, they... Um, they don't promote it th that way, and viewers sometimes find it an alien place in that you go there for a specific kind of experience that is quasi-entertainment. Um, uh, the right thing to do with certain people, but not as a, as a kind of a fundamental part of your life that promotes your growth, your creative growth, your intellectual growth, uh, and a kind of pleasure that's not, not necessarily entertainment, uh, you know, growing in, you know, spiritually or whatever way, uh, intellectually, as I might have said. So, you know, I, for all those reasons, I think museums are still really, really important. And, and you know, they're all different kinds of museums, but since art museums are the ones that I exist in mostly, because I'm an artist, uh, you know, I think they're extremely important in that um, the thing that makes it kind of uh, unusual for the average person, it's difference from the day to day. If you view it in another way, it can really enlarge in your life and, and not be by accident that it enlarges your life if you go there specifically to sort of learn and have a new experience. And sometimes the faculty don't know how to go to a museum, or it's not a part of their daily life. So how are they imparting that to their students? How are they imparting that experience to their students? Uh, and so sometimes students come to museums in, as, as their first museum experience. And it's the moment where uh, the museum has the opportunity, and I say the mandate, to show them how to read museums and how to uh, get the most out of the experience as a, as a way to, f uh, to, to promote lifelong learning. After the university, this is, this is the one link to the university that still they can have in their lives for the rest of their lives. So for me, it's an extremely important experience and it's, it needs to be more understood as that uh, among, particularly among uh, university museums. And, uh, and the conversation between university museums should be stronger to sort of, because you have uh, um, like populations and can develop ways of doing things that, you know, can be quite different from major institutions that have a really diverse population uh, you know, uh, on top of which are visitors from other parts of the world, uh, which is uh, and, and one-time visitors also, which at a university, it should be a nor the museum should be a normative place for the university community, not only the students, but the faculty, staff, so that uh, 
what goes on in the, in, in the, in the museum is embedded into life at the institution. Not only, you know, curriculums, certainly, and, there, and you know, I've, I've worked with museums in that way, uh, where obviously the, 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 the uh, curriculums have a certain, certain kind of schedule, and museums have another kind of schedule, and, and so it's a, it's a, it's a huge hurdle uh, to sort of, but if it's seen as really important, and, and the reason the university museum is there, it can be worked out, and also faculty understand that this is a part of their, you know, their, um, is an asset, asset that they can also use in their, uh, in their classroom, and their students can use outside the classroom, um, you begin to see a different kind of museum that, that suits the space, and, and, and the students, you know, take that with them, and then expect more of their museums when they're out, in, when they're in a, you know, uh, other parts of the world. Um, so I think museums are hugely important and an, under, an under-realized uh, uh, opportunity is there. Sowing the seeds for young people to understand and feel comfortable within the institution and know how to, to use it will have a great benefit for museums to be able to change because, and in my experience, the audience begins to ask questions of the institution because they, they're, they feel a part of it and not necessarily this place on high that I just can go in every once in a while. And uh, so, so it, it's, it's a great resource, uh, just underutilized resource.